Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we got a really quick, short video that we're gonna do for you. I just wanna show you something that I get a lot of questions that uh, people ask me just randomly off uh, camera or sometimes on a message, is they wanna know how do you know what bit you're using? How do I know if I'm using an upcut bit or how do I know if I'm using a downcut bit? I'm gonna show you really quick my method that I use to tell which bit is which because when you have a bunch of bits laying around, it is sometimes very difficult to find out I'm gonna show you right here, which bit is which? You know, I got a whole handful of bits right here. You could see this. It's, it's very difficult to read, at least for me, on what kind of bit you're using. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you how I do this. It's very easy and yeah, so let's do it. So here it is right here. Here's my handful of bits that I got. We're just gonna randomly pick one. Let's go ahead and just pick this one right here. Uh, it's very simple. To do just hold it out in front of you and your spindle is going to cut in a clockwise motion something along that lines let's see if i can get this to focus there we go it's going to go ahead and cut in a clockwise direction just like that so like if you're you're you have a drill and you turn the drill to like screwing in a screw straight down uh it's going to turn clockwise so basically in that motion right there righty tighty lefty loosey so what i like to do is take the bit hold it in my right hand like this and take my fingers and very lightly pinch the bit itself, the, the blade part. And then I'll start twisting this in a clockwise motion. So right there, right off the bat, I can tell you that this is a down cut bit because if you watch my fingers, they kind of glide down the bit. So when they go down, that means that it's a down cut bit. So just like that. So I'll turn it and I'll just kind of rub it very oh so gently. You don't want to squeeze too hard because you don't want to cut yourself. If these bits are nice and sharp, they could potentially cut you. But if you do this very lightly, you should be okay. So now I know that this is a down cut bit. Let's go ahead and put this one off to the side. There we go. Uh, we got another one. What I'll do is I'll pinch right here and oh, I could tell you right there, this is an up cut bit because I'm turning in the clockwise motion and my fingers are kind of pulling up towards the top of the bit like that. So if I'm holding right here and I turn in a clockwise motion, you can see it's pulling my fingers up. So that's gonna go ahead and cut the wood and pull all those little bits and pieces up towards the top of the wood. And it potentially can fray the top of the wood that you're cutting where a down cut bit is basically gonna push everything down. If you're using a down cut bit, you should definitely use a vacuum system in my opinion. I feel that it's gonna clean out your grooves and clean out everything a lot better because it's gonna push all those bits down and you need something to extract them up. And then I have two bits like this. This is a compression bit and then I have a quarter inch spiral cutting bit as well. Let's see what this one is. This one right here, okay, this is a down cut bit. I'm twisting, it's a single flute, it only has one cutting, actually it's a double flute. One there, one there. But basically it went ahead and it's gonna cut down in a downward motion like that. And then this right here, this is what I was using on my Axis Create test. This is a up cut bit. And what it does is it pulls that wood. So when I was using a roughing bit, it was actually doing the roughing cut first before I did the detail and was pulling all that wood and it was really soft, it was poplar, and it was just making it look really stringy and bad. But luckily I was able to use the V-carve bit and it went ahead and uh, this is a 30, 30 degree V-bit and it cleaned it up really nice. And I'll show you that real quick. So this is an upcut bit because it's pulling my fingers up. All right, guys, that is it. That is the video. I just wanted to show you really quick on how I determine if one of the end mills that I'm using is an up cut or a down cut, because sometimes it's very difficult to read and you just grab a bit and you're like, what did I grab? Did I grab an up cut? Did I don't grab a down cut? I don't even know. But that is the way that you can tell very easily what bit that you're using and go from there. So if this video helped you out a little bit, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go down, subscribe to the channel, hit that red button, subscribe, hit that black bell button, that way you get notified of all of my newest videos. But until that next video, make sure you all do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next video, bye.